got some uh, hay to unload here and stack and uh, kind of going to be busy with that here in the shade of my barn uh, some today. But uh, I wanted to do a video, uh, a very important adjustment on my John Deere. That you, The John Deere 348 and the number 42 kicker are kind of married here. And uh, in any event, I wanted to do a, uh, a video about a very important adjustment and uh, it has to do with uh, how the bales come out of this uh, bale chamber and how they uh, land on this pan and ultimately kick this lever right here in order to actuate the hydraulics and throw the bale up into those wagons. Uh, first thing is when the bales when the bales come out of this bale chamber, there's a couple angles, one there and one here. And they're, I've got them pitched up like that. And the purpose of that is to allow the bale to come out even while the kicker's in the air. And it holds the bale up. It holds that bale up uh, just long enough so the pan can get back under it and um, so it can get back under the bale and the bale can continue to come out here on the pan. Well with the hydraulic tension and really with the cranks if you crank it down enough um, the uh, the bales come out very rigid uh, lengthwise and so sometimes when they come out they don't always get down onto the pan. Uh, they they come out and they'll they'll ride up on this. Uh, they haven't quite cleared the angle, and the bottom of the bale will just kind of ride up on on this uh, on this lever. Now what was happening is occasionally, uh, not every time. It was like one out of a hundred bales, maybe. Uh, maybe it wasn't even that much, but when you're uh, in a rush to get done, let's say the dew's coming or maybe some rain's coming, and this is a high-capacity baler, this John Deere 348, and, uh, you know, you start jamming hay through it, uh, it's like the next bale, when it kicks, it'll almost shoot the bale off of those ramps over top of this, and it'll lay on there. And so what happens is when you uh, go to, when it goes to kick the bale, what happens is when it, when it goes to kick the bale, uh, it may not kick it, or if it does, it may flip into here, or it may just, the, the next bale coming along might be a combination and it would kick and the one in front of it might flip it might keep that next bale from going out the pan kicker clears itself from it and when it comes back down it's laying on top of a bale and those of you that have pan kickers uh, John Deere you probably know what I'm talking about so uh, it's inconvenient it's not as inconvenient as uh, having to restring the twine on the uh, on the knotters uh, after you break a piece of twine but uh, you do have to stop it kind of interrupts everything and it takes a few minutes to clear that out but uh, really we don't want that to happen at all and like I said most of the time it doesn't so I started looking at the uh, manual and uh, our bales are, are around 32 inches long sometimes they're a little longer a couple inches longer some Times there's a, they're a couple inches shorter. When you adjust this pan kicker and the the trigger mechanism for it, you do it re with respect to the bale length. And what I had it set the way I had it set was I had this pan kicker trip mechanism set for like a 28 inch bale. And I don't know why. Uh, I'm pretty good about reading instructions and following instructions, but for some reason I didn't have that. 
and uh, it's just been that way all the time. The baler works great. Occasionally, like I say, we'd have a little uh, hiccup. But uh, I had to bale some hay here. Uh, there'll be a video of it. And uh, it was going to be later in the evening, the day I was going to bale. And I just needed not to have any interruptions other than putting wagons on this, uh, on this baler. And so I got the manual out and I started reading about it. I kind of suspected what the issue was. And, and what you do is you adjust this uh, kicker mechanism uh, with respect to the edge of this pan. And there's a set screw here, uh, and there's one on the other side. And then uh, this, this rod right here adjusts the location of this rod that uh, it when this comes out obviously this has got to be adjusted too and so i i reset the the pan kicker per the manual i think it was for like a 32 uh is either 30 to 32 or 30 might have been 32 to 34 i don't have the manual in front of me but uh basically i had to move it out you can see right here where the, the rust is probably not quite three inches, might have been three inches. And what that did is that moved this this uh, trigger mechanism, which was right here. That just that little bit right there moved that tr trigger mechanism far enough out that the bales they get far enough off of the angles that they fall down like that, and they continue to be pushed by the other bale, and then they push that trigger. That trigger mechanism and uh, it launches the bale so I've got other videos coming up of where I've bailed and I haven't had any knock on wood I haven't any, had any issues with this thing jamming uh, when I've been bailing and really pushing the baler uh, let me tell you also you know I hear people talk about how the uh, pan kicker is the limit to how many bales you can spit out the back of a John Deere baler but uh, that's not true this uh, the pan kicker is sufficient for the capacity of the baler so regardless of how many bales you're pushing out the back of this baler uh, if this pan kicker is set right it'll throw every one of them every time so uh, you know like with everything else uh, there's a whole lot of uh, urban legend about uh what you know this this or that or the other and sometimes you'll read that the pan kicker is the limit now i do know that uh, uh some of the new holland guys say that uh see new holland uh they licensed the design of this pan kicker as i understand it from john deere and they had a you'll see some pan kickers on new holland balers and uh, I think there were some differences. Uh, one of them is I think the pan might have been made of steel. But for whatever reason, uh, people talk like it didn't work out too great for New Holland. I'm not really sure. But uh, when the 575 uh, New Holland came out, uh, they offered this pan kicker on it. And then they went to the, 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 the kicker with the conveyors. And... Uh, and what you read on the internet people talk about is that the pan kicker couldn't keep up with the capacity of the 575 which is now the new holland bc 5070 and that may be true um but you know i wonder if the real issue with the pan kicker on uh, the new holland baler had less to do with capacity and more to do with uh paying john deere their uh, arch competitor in haying made me wonder if uh, that had more to do with getting rid of the pan kicker than anything else why pay the royalty and legitimize john deere's pan kicker but i can tell you that these kickers have been around forever uh they've been so there's been a few changes to them the the difference between the 40 and 42 one of the major differences was you could flip up the uh the cage so you can get in there and um uh, put a put a pin in the drawbar for another wagon uh just uh, a few other things people talk about how 
these things will kick your head off and uh, I guess it can happen you know if you're just being stupid but when you disengage the PTO the pump for this uh, the hydraulics for this kicker are completely contained on the baler and when when uh, when those packer forks stop turning the hydraulic pump uh, for this kicker stops and it completely de-energizes and uh, so you can cycle the trigger mechanism all you want it's not gonna it's not gonna kick uh, so it's it, it's completely safe and uh, so you know as far as somebody getting their head taken off uh, I hear stories about it I'm sure it's happened I re read it one time that uh, some kids a uh, farmer came home and his kids had the pan kicker backed up to a pond and uh, they had a chair sitting in it and they would cycle that kicker and it would throw them in the chair over in the air into the pond. Uh, I'm not sure I believe that, but uh, you know, certainly you could get hurt if you were in that pan kicker when it went off. But uh, a lot of the things you hear about the pan kicker, I think, uh, probably have more to do with an, an adjustment like this and uh, so and maintenance you, there's certain things you have to grease and maintain it's a pretty simple setup really there's just one hydraulic cylinder and a set of kind of parallelogram bars in the pan uh, there's not much that can go wrong with a pan kicker I say that and something will happen but uh, but it's really important with not just with your knotters and everything else on your equipment but just the uh, trigger mechanism on the on the pan kicker can take this pan kicker and make it such that whatever the capacity is on this John Deere 348, which is their highest capacity baler, uh, it'll make it uh, such that it can keep up even in the heaviest uh, in the heaviest of hay. So just thought I'd share that uh, kind of a, what I think is a critical adjustment on the the uh, number 42. I say pan kicker, John Deere refers to it as the ejector, and uh, really happy with it. I like the way you can adjust the throw, you can adjust the angle to pitch it to one side or the other of the hay wagon, and uh, so that's kind of the video, uh, uh, an adjustment on this uh, pan kicker to, uh, so we can see, see the capacity of this baler without... Uh, you know getting a jam down here so uh and more bailing videos i got a few other videos coming and uh when i can get them out i will appreciate everybody watching feel free to uh comment subscribe and we'll talk to you later